Welcome to the Beehive and thank you for joining us today. We're going to have a really great show today and we're going to talk about a very special Speedway rider of all time. And if you like the video, that would be great at the bottom. We highlight a four-time World Speedway Champion who was one of the best riders of all time. His name is Barry Briggs, but a lot of people call him Brigo. And he was born December 30th, 1934, and is still alive today. Barry is going to celebrate his 87th birthday this year. So congratulations, Barry. And he was born in Christchurch, New Zealand. Brigo was just a year younger than Ronnie Moore, who was born in 1934, and they were grew up together as teens. They probably raced together, you know, just like anywhere. If you grow up the same time and you're a speedway rider, you go ahead and you know those people and you raced against them. One of the amazing things is you have three riders. You have Brigo, you have Ivan Majors, and you have Ronnie Moore, all living in Christchurch, New Zealand at the same time. And they were just amazing riders. You'll never see in the history of Speedway again, three riders all living together in the same area. Between those three riders, they won 12 world championships, 12. And they were just amazing. So. New Zealand really produced some good riders in that day, and Brigo was one of them. When Brigo was just 18 years old in 1952, he actually went ahead and went to England to race for the Wimbledon Dons. He followed his partner, his childhood friend, Ronnie Moore, and he went to England and raced for the Wimbledon Dons. He was a shy guy, he was very shy, most of us 18-year-old speeder riders were very shy. Barry raced his first seven years at the Wimbledon Dons in the British Speedway League, and he won the 1957 and 1958 World Championship. He was a world champion, and that was the year that Ronnie Moore left Speedway, and he went to car racing. So Ronnie Moore left, and Barry Briggs stayed on the Wimbledon team and won back-to-back -back world championships. And then in 1959, the following year, uh, Ronnie Moore returned back to Speedway. And Ronnie Moore won the world championship in 1959. So it was Brigo and Ronnie Moore, all from Christchurch. 1959, Barry left the Wimbledon team. He didn't like that track. I don't know, he just didn't like it. So he asked to be traded. He wanted to leave. And they went ahead and they put him on New Cross across the town there in London. And he didn't like that track either. It was a tiny pan-shaped track. And he lasted one year at the New Cross. And he won it out of that racetrack also. Barry went ahead and moved south to Southampton. Southampton is in the south of England. And I lived in Southampton about 16 years after Barry left. But he raced from 61 to 63, and Barry liked Southampton. It was a long track, it was fast, it was smooth. Barry liked that one. However, the Southampton track closed because they sold the land to some developers to build a mall or something. I think I've been to that mall that was built on the Speedway track. I would have preferred to go to the Speedway races than to the mall. But Southampton Saints, they had a speedway team. And I didn't know it when I was in Southampton. And it was just really great. I watched a few of those races on YouTube. And they really raced fast. And it was a nice long track. And it was really cool. After Southampton closed, Wimbledon reportedly wanted Barry back on their team. And Barry said, no way, I'm not going back to Wimbledon. If you get me on Wimbledon, I am retiring. I'm not going to Speedway no more. So Wimbledon backed off. They said, no, we don't want Barry. So Barry went ahead and was a Swindon Robin. Barry went to Swindon and raced and did quite well. He was happy at Swindon. You know, he did really well. He had a lot of friends. He liked the track. You know, he did really good. So Barry actually won two more world championships as a Swindon Robin. 
First year in 1964, he won that world championship at Swindon, and he raced all the way till 72. Also in 1966, Barry won his fourth world championship. His fourth, he was a four-time world champion. And Barry did really well. He raced for a long time. It was like eight years at Swindon. And he loved every minute of it. Barry also won the British League Riders' Cup from 1965 to 1970. He won it like five or six years. He kept winning that British League Cup. Barry was a true champion. Barry retired from the British League Speedway Riding in 1972 when he was in the World Championship at the Wembley Stadium. And he was in Heat 5 and he got in a car crash with Brent Peterson from Sweden and his left ring finger got torn off. Barry lost his left ring finger and Barry said, that's it, I'm done with Speedway. And that was pretty much the end of Barry's Speedway days, we thought, but it's not true. Barry came back to race in the 1974 and 75 season and he went ahead and finished his career with the Hull Vikings. Barry Briggs was a Hull Viking. <laughs> In the early 1970s, Barry teamed up with Ivan Major and Zenon Pleck of Poland and other riders. Zenon just passed away recently, rest in peace Zenon, and they went ahead and came to, like, to America at Costa Mesa Speedway. They taught the Americans, the Yanks, how to ride Speedway. Before, the Yanks were riding the TT style, the flat track style, with their butts back on the bike and, and the seat. And, now, Barry and uh, Ivan, they said, no, 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 that's not how you ride Speedway. So, Briggo and Ivan and company, they taught the Yanks how to ride Speedway. And they went ahead and had world team matches in the 70s, 74, 75, 76, 78. They went ahead and had USA versus the world matches. Barry and Ivan had a lot of success against the Americans. And Barry went ahead and he had a very prestigious award, an MBE award for the success in Speedway. Barry was a very gifted and talented Speedway. 1990, Barry was inducted into the New Zealand Hall of Fame. After Barry retired, he went ahead and stayed with the sport and coached a lot of young Speedway riders like Mitch Sierra. Uh, he was a Kiwi and others. And Barry was a TV commentator of Speedway in United States, in England, and all over the place. Barry was a commentator of the sport. I met Briggo in the late 70s at the Rocio house. Uh, Briggo was friends with Johnny Rocio and Janine Rocio as Briggo went ahead and knew Ernie Rocio who had passed away in 1952 in a speedway accident. But in 1951, Ernie was actually the first American to race in the World Championship since the late Jack Milne. I was a shy 18-year-old rider, so I didn't really bother Barry because I didn't want to like, Hi, I'm Brian, you know, like, nice to meet you, Barry. So I just stayed back, and when we had the Halloween parties and stuff and the get-togethers, I just watched Barry. Maybe I said hi to him, but I was really shy. A shy 18-year-old. Did you know that Barry was a shy 18-year-old? And we were both speedway riders and shy at 18. I believe Barry resides in Southern California and he frequences the speedway tracks. I've seen Barry when I was racing at the Costa Mesa Speedway, but I was a little older than 18 and I still didn't go and bother Barry. I'm like, hi from a distance, but I'm not gonna bother the master, the king of speedway, Briggo Barry Briggs. During his years of racing Speedway, Briggo was honored by the Queen of England for his service to the sport of Speedway. Briggo reached the World Championship a record 18 times from 1954 to 1970 and 1972. In the World Championship, Barry had a record of 201 points with 87 races in the World Championship. Barry Briggs, a class act, one of the greatest speedway riders of all time. This guy was amazing, and he's still alive today. And we go ahead and honor the great Barry Briggs, just a sensational rider. And I'm not sure if he got as much notoriety as Ivan Major, 
But Barry Briggs was pretty much just as good, even though he won four world championships. If you win four world championships, you're a really, really good writer. Thank you for watching the Barry Briggs Let's Talk Speedway show. And he's just a living legend. And he's a complete one of the gods of Speedway. And we respect and honor Barry Briggs. Thank you so much for all your years, your 27 years of racing Speedway in the British League. Barry had so much success racing Speedway. It's insane. So we thank you so much for watching this broadcast about Barry Briggs. He was just one of the best riders ever. So thank you again for watching and stay on two wheels and no crashing, okay? Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe the video if you like it and we'll see you next race.